What's going on, 2K fans? It's NBA All Star 967 here, and today I'm bringing to you NBA 2K18 news about my team, and I'm gonna explain the layout right now. I'm not gonna explain every single game mode. 2K released uh, their own blog about every game mode and how it should work, and if you want to go ahead and go on their Twitter account, but you're gonna have to like go through everything. Or just actually go to their Facebook if you have one. But their layout menu is challenges, more specifically the weekly challenges, super max, which is like the salary cap mode in Madden. If you ever played that or if you even know what that is. Domination, which includes three different dominations. It's not just against the current teams, but it's also against the historic teams, which who knows what teams will also be in there since they added 17 new historic teams they could probably make it more difficult because of that but you also have to go against the all time franchise teams which is going to be complete hell if you ask me because every player is 80 overall and higher like even Steve Curry is 81 or overall or something like that just imagine going against the Lakers or the Celtics dude that's going to be yeah Play with friends is there. Freestyle, of course, if you want to practice with your players. Pack and playoff switch. Apparently, is only 5v5 if you watched Cash's game against my Krizemba. It's only 5v5, not 13 versus 13, which is upsetting to most 2K fans in general. But you have to give 2K the credit for even bringing in a draft mode. It would be slightly better if it was 13 versus 13 because. How's the stamina going to work? Are they going to be like completely exhausted by the third quarter? Or, or is the fatigue going to be like dropped so they don't get so tired? Who knows? Next up on the My Team News is the collection rewards for the current the current teams. For the Celtics, you'll get, and by the way, they're all Ruby players. Which, if you don't know already, it's 89 to, no, 87 to 89 overall. Uh, for the Celtics, Reggie Lewis, Richard Hamilton for the Pistons, Roy Hibbert for the Pacers, Lynn Sanity for the Knicks, Steve Smith for the Miami Heat, Kevin Willis for the Atlanta Hawks, Luol Dang for the Bulls, excuse me, Hersey Hawkins for the 76ers, Damon Stoudemire for the Raptors, Kerry Kittles for the Nets, Rex Chapman for the Wizards, Bob Dandridge for the Milwaukee Bucks, Campy Russell, I'm assuming is for the Knicks, Darrell Armstrong for the Magic, and Larry Hughes for the Cavaliers. <coughs> As for the Western Conference, Dominique Wilkins for the Clippers, Sharif O'Neal, nah, just playing, Sharif Abdur Rahim for the Grizzlies, uh, Darrell Griffin for the Jazz, Jason Williams for the Kings, Derek Fisher for the Lakers. I don't know how I feel about Derek Fisher being a Ruby. Jason Terry for the Mavs, Dekemi Mutombo for the Nuggets, Jamal Mashburn for the Pelicans, Tim Duncan, okay, for the Spurs, Katino Mobley, who I've never heard of until the Big Three, for the Rockets. Dan Marjo, Mario, I don't know how to pronounce his name, for the Suns, Dennis Johnson for the Thunder because he used to be um, a part of the Seattle Supersonics, Jerome Kersey for the Trailblazers, may he rest in peace, Isaiah Ryder for the Timberwolves, and Monte Ellis for the Warriors, and new Warriors fans probably don't even know that Monte used to play for the Warriors, <laughs> and this year instead of um, the collector reward levels for your cards, how many cards you have, is no longer based off that. It's based on goals, like you have to accomplish certain things, and they're all different tiers, and of course you'll get different rewards for all of them, <coughs> for instance, well, and I'm going to list all of them. The warm-up goals, if you complete all of these goals, you will um, receive the Team Create Arena card. Complete a challenge. Complete a challenge game. Open a pack. Acquire a free agent card, which you receive from your starter pack. Create a lineup. View box market. 
and then the bronze gold for your custom logo and jerseys card. Excuse me again. You must complete the Super Max tutorial, draft a team and pack in playoffs, complete a placement match and Super Max. Damn, I'm gassy, I guess. Um, complete a placement match with Super Max. Yeah, play a weekly challenge game, complete a domination game. Once again, that's for your custom logo and jerseys. These should, these could probably be done within your first 20 minutes, not even 20 minutes. Yeah, you're probably your first 20 minutes of playing. Uh, my team. The silver goals, this is for you to access the auction house. That means putting cards on the auction house and also purchasing from the auction house. Um, you must defeat a team and earn a three star pack in domination, which is, of course is going to take more time. Purchase a league pack with VC or MT, earn a challenge token, win a schedule mode game, complete a schedule mode game, win, oh, win and complete, oh, that's, that's two different tasks, of course. The gold goals is all for an 84 overall Payesto Yakovic, complete any game with 85 or above system proficiency, which if you don't know what that is, it's based on your coach and the plays that you have. Which means that your coach is actually going to be really important this year. But knowing me, I probably just... I, I don't know if I'll actually go along with it. But anyway, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, we have to win a game in Supermax. Acquire a 2018 sub-collection player award. Which I'm assuming is just a reward card from either Historic... No, no, no. Because it's 2018. It's the reward cards that I mentioned earlier. Play two rounds in a season of Supermax, complete a team's schedule in schedule mode. Which is, by the way, 30 games for every team. So that's 900 games if you do the math, 30 times 30. Emerald goals, which is all for an 85 overall Sapphire JR Swish. Uh, you have to win a moments challenge, earn 33 stars on domination, earn a challenge token prize, Make the semifinals and pack in playoffs. Complete five teams, schedules, and schedule mode. Uh, the Sapphire goals is for an 89 overall Andre Iguodala when he was on the 76ers. Uh, earn an emerald or higher round prize in Supermax. Uh, acquire five reward cards from the current collection. And let's see what else. Make the finals and pack in playoffs. Collect a signature series player. Complete 10 teams schedules in schedule mode. Wow, they're making, uh, you really have to grind out if you want these um, rewards. Amethyst goals, which is, oh wait, no, 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 I skipped over. Ruby goals, which is all for a 93 overall Amethyst Jermaine O'Neal. Yeah, um, Amethyst go up to 93. Last year was just 90 to 93 overall for an Amethyst, but this year it goes up to 93. I, 90 to 92 I meant for last year. Um, you must earn 90, you must complete domination basically to earn all 99 stars. Win the finals and pack and playoffs. Win a multiplayer moments challenge, which they brought back from 2K16, where some and well this in 2k16 it was just regular challenges but this year i guess you can do a moments challenge against someone else online um sweep around and pack and playoffs acquire 10 reward cards from the current collection such as like maybe Waldang, roy hibbert tim duncan um and that's it for ruby goals <coughs> and this is where things really get exciting amethyst because the rewards are insane Amethyst goals all for a 96 overall Pistol Pete Maravich. You must complete both the Eastern Conference and Western Conference historic logos and earn earn an Amethyst or higher round prize in Supermax. Unlock board number five and pack and playoffs. And you must also complete the Eastern Conference and Western Conference historic uniforms, which I wasn't able to do it all last year because the the old school 76ers jerseys basically were not included in the game or they're like I don't know they only had like four in the auction house and they have a bunch of jerseys um what else and you 
And the last thing for the amateurs goals is earn 20 player reward cards. Diamond goals. This is for a 98 overall Steve Nash. Complete 20 teams schedules in schedule mode, which is two thirds of all schedules. Earn six stars in on an all time domination, which is if you go for three stars, then it's two games, which if your team is stacked enough or you just know how to play the game and earn enough MT should not take up long once you get to all time domination because it's going to take many and many hours for you to even get to the all time domination point. But um, you must also unlock board number 10 in pack and playoffs, earn four season awards in, from Supermax, earn 30 reward cards. And then the last one is Pink Diamond Goals, which is for Pink Diamond Shack. You must complete every single domination and earn every single star. You must also earn board, the board 10 reward in pack and, pack and playoffs, earn Diamond Season Prize and Supermax, and earn the All Challenge Token Reward Prize cards, as well as completing all 30 teams schedules and schedule mode man this year is going to be a grind but that's it's a lot of content this year which is a great thing because last year once you finished once you at least finished um my team online one time you felt like you were done with you once you did all the challenges or well, if you kept up with it i didn't do any of that last year but anyway um digressing and the starter packs for my team contain six, 26 cards, six, what the hell, and are categorized under defense, grit and grind, patient space, perimeter centric, and post. The free agent card for, I forgot who the free agent card for defense is. Grit and grind is going to be Jimmy Butler, patient space is Giannis, perimeter centric is Bradley Beal, and post is... Porzingis, which is interesting because I don't really see him as a post player. But that's really all I got for my team. But I will come at you with more news as um as more news comes out. I've received I didn't receive them personally, but I retrieved I should say all this news from certain YouTubers like Gento. Um, and even a Twitter account, but I don't know if I should say the Twitter account. I think I'll just put it in the link in case, you know, 2K tries to suspend their account or anything. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys are, in, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing all this news. If you think I'm spoiling anything, I don't, I don't know what to tell you because I'm trying to tell you everything about 2K. That way you have things figured out or at least have an idea of what this game is this year is all about and yeah that's all I really got so this is NBA All-Star 967 signing out and I will see you next time just continue watching this game of the Dream Team versus um, this this past year's Olympic team I'll also be having more videos on my, my career possibly other game modes and if you want I can also tell you every single team's ratings, like every single player's ratings, their team and all that, as well as the all-time franchise teams, but um, 2K already tweeted that out a while ago, so you can go ahead and look there, and once again, for like maybe the third time, third time's a charm, that's it.